their comfort zone. That, that's when what it I was comes looking to for, this yeah. kind of thing, it's so removed from what they usually do. But I tell you what, they're into the penultimate of the corners here. And who is going to get this? They are really technically very clever cars. They do a little bit of counter steering. Oh, it's all come together and we've got an over hitch. Verline goes over right on the finish line. Massa's already out of the car. He's fine. Yeah, we're seeing Verline move, so that's good. Let's just check that he is OK. A nasty collision as the two cars just come together and he is out of thumbs the up car. From so a big thumbs up from uh, Pascal Verline, the young German, getting a bit of a shock there. And the crowd here at Miami rightly applauding him. Massa, the first to go over and make sure he's OK. There will be some fixing to do here at Marlins Park. Safety is the priority. The medical team just making sure that Pascal Verline is okay and uh, we take things very very seriously here at the race of champions it is a fun event but we want to make sure that everybody goes home safely and you can hear the crowd applauding as pascal verline is helped away and his passenger was the one that took the brunt of that impact so uh, slightly more gets... exciting ride than they were expecting but what a story to take away i think and... he was filming that as well <laughs> hope we managed to figure out what it was not sure this is to the line. Ah, I see. Verline just uh, understeering the car into the central barrier, and that dragged the car further to the right. This is from on board. The hand goes up from Massa, then the impact, and over goes the slingshot. You can see on the big screen in the background exactly what happened. Oh, yeah, Verline just heads to the middle of the track, and as soon as he hit there, it was going to go over. But the good news is that the Polaris slingshots have got the rollover cage above the driver and passenger.